Good morning. I'm in Knoxville on Western Avenue, and we're looking at a widening project. And one of the things I wanted to kind of show everybody is some of the environmental features we have on projects. We have box culvert construction underway right now. One of the things that's important for us to do is dewater the construction area. When you pump dirty water out, you don't want it to get over in the creek, so we use sediment bags. And this here is a big bladder of filter material that pumps the water into it, and it filters out. You can see the water's coming out clear. We've got clear water running out. We've got sediment traps in place. That allows us to deliver these projects without polluting the water, and we're living up to our environmental commitments that we've made to the regulatory community. Here on Western Avenue, one of the big issues we're having to deal with is drainage. There's lots of uh, water on this project, and right now we're doing box culvert construction. We have a three-barrel box culvert that we're trying to get constructed, and we're having to do the work in the dry. That doesn't mean it's all dry, but we've diverted the flow through the structure so we can actually get the construction done and not have sediment releases on the project. Right now they're doing the final excavation for the last wing wall on this phase of the construction. So they've excavated the hole, they've got the steel running in, the next thing they'll be doing is forming up and forming this wing wall so they can do the final backfill, then they can stabilize all the earth and on the project, get all of our erosion control devices in place, and make sure that we can get the water flowing through here. It will withstand major storms and allow us to proceed on with the next phase of construction. In order to be able to widen Western Avenue, we're having to phase the traffic. This particular project, we're doing two phases, and right now we have traffic running on the old existing road, and we're building the phase one shift. So we're having to build this structure we have sheet piling and lagging in place that allows us to build the new structure or half of it we'll shift traffic over here then we'll be able to proceed on and build the other half of the box culvert and be able to finish the project out when we build projects we use many things like uh, sandbags riprap erosion control matting even channel changes themselves the meanders are designed by our designers we work very close with the environmental division and ultimately we'll come back along and plant trees be able to provide some canopy over the stream so everything we're trying to do in building these projects we're trying to make sure that we can keep sediment out of the streams to allow clean water to flow uh, in particular knoxville has a lot of sinkhole areas we don't want to get sediment and dirt into these subterranean cavities and pollute the groundwater. These new erosion control devices that we're using have changed a whole lot over the years. Now we use an enhanced silt fence, which is a regular fence with an erosion control fiber. You can kind of see through this, it blocks the sediments going through, but it still allows water to go through. So these new geotextiles have been around 10 or 15 years in TDI usage and they've really done a lot to help us control sediment on projects.